How do you get tested for hepatitis B and C? Well, you, they're both blood tests, um, and you can ask your doctor for a screening panel um, for hepatitis B. We're mostly looking for the surface antigen to find out if you are infected. But for hepatitis B, there's actually a triple panel of tests that we recommend. So one is to look to see if you're infected, the surface antigen, as I, I just mentioned. There's a surface antibody test that tests for immunity, very similar to, you know, I think a lot of people are familiar with having that COVID antibody test. Um, and then there's another test that's a core antibody test, which basically tests to see if you've been exposed to hepatitis B before. So the interesting thing is that you can develop immunity from hep B either from a vaccine or from having been infected before. So it's actually similar to COVID. Um, and so it's good for us to know because if you are, um, if you were infected in the past, you actually are still at very, very, very small risk of having what we call um, hepatitis B reactivation. So we do ask people to um, be aware if they ever have, are undergoing chemotherapy or some kind of immunosuppression, that they would be aware um, that they've been exposed before because then they would need antivirals. So kind of similar to what we taught, tell people about shingles, and chickenpox, how it's the same virus. If you had chickenpox when you were a kid, when you get older, you can get shingles. So it's very similar to Hep B, you can have this reactivation. So that's why we recommend this triple test um, for hepatitis B and can be done with all your other blood work if you're getting your cholesterol checked or anything else checked with your doctor, this can just be a simple add-on. And then for Hep C, also simple um, blood test, a Hep C antibody test. If that's positive, they reflex it to do an RNA test, which checks for your viral load. Um, because you can have a hep C antibody test, uh, but it can be a false positive, um, or it could be like you had it in the past, but you don't have it anymore. Um, but these are all, you know, it can sound very complicated. It's like alphabet soup of like tests. I tell people these questions, or even if your doctors, you know, have questions, CDC, this is all on the website. Um, and it's easy to kind of look up to see which tests you need. And then also the interpretation of results are on there too.